Hi, boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are looking at the concept of square numbers. We're in our math journal on page 35, unit 2, lesson 1. We've started in the unit, and uh, it's going to be mostly about multiplication. Let's take a look. It says, a square array is a special rectangular array that has the same number of rows and columns. Now, before we go any farther, let's talk about what an array is in the first place. An array is basically a picture or a model of a multiplication or division fact. So if I were to draw two rows with three dots in each row, this would represent the multiplication fact 2 times 3, which gives us a total of 6. If I count the, uh, the number of dots, 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six shows that it's true. Okay, so an array is just a model that helps us understand multiplication and then later division. So in this first array, it is very simplistic. It's got one row of one, which means it's just one single dot. Now that doesn't seem like an array until I apply it to my second array here, which is the square number four. Now, I have increased my array by adding a dot to uh, the column, like so. And then I have added another column. So instead of one group of one, I now have two groups of two. Two times two is four. Now, in the third array, I do the same thing again. I take my original array from the last square number, which is two groups of two, or four. And then again, I add another dot to each column, and then I add another column. So now this array shows me three groups of three. Three times three equals nine. And it just increases from there. You'll see that in the fourth array, I have 16 because I have four rows with four in each row. Four times four is 16. So when we take a look at these problems here, uh, number one, A asks us to draw square arrays to represent the next two square numbers after 16. So if you look at the pattern, this first array was very simply one group with one in each group. One times one is one. Two times two is four. 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16. So what you would do here is you would create 5 rows with 5 in each row. And that would give you an answer of what is 5 times 5. You will put the answer down here. And what do you suppose would happen next? Well, that's going to be 6 rows with 6 in each row, 6 times 6. And again, I'm looking for you to find that square number. So then it says list all the square numbers through 50. That means uh, the answer or the product of the multiplication problem, the square number, under the number of 50. So we have the first four, 1, 4, 9, 16, the product of 5 times 5, the product of 6 times 6, and one more. I'll let you figure out what would come after 6 times 6. Okay. Now, it says, how can you find the tenth square number without drawing an array? Well, if you follow the formula, the first uh, square number is 1 times 1. The second square number is 2 times 2. The third square number is 3 times 3. The fourth square number is 4 times 4. I bet you are seeing a pattern develop. So how would I find the tenth square number without drawing it? And then it asks you to list the first ten squared numbers. We have the first four illustrated on the top you'll come up with the next three 
to solve this problem, number 2, finding square numbers through 50. And you'll just repeat that, pro uh, that process. Okay? And that's how we go about finding square numbers. Uh, if you have questions about this concept, feel free to reach out to you, uh, your math teacher. Otherwise, uh, we will talk again soon. Thanks.